Um, there's also been a little bit of confusion about how to use it because to be real honest, it's a, it's a very simple template. There's not much um, that can go wrong with it, but I just wanna explain more how we use it um, and why we keep it so simple uh, as just down to one sheet of paper. So first of all, the kind of the tools that I use are of course my iPhone um, and then this handy printer right here, the HP Sprocket. Uh, got it on Amazon for, I think it was under $100. Um, it's, a, it's a great little printer, it's Bluetooth. Um, it, it's got a jack in the back where you can charge it up. It prints so great and the HP Sprocket Act just got a great upgrade so it is super easy to use. You can actually use your fingers just to turn pictures and rotate them, crop them within the app, super simple. So I printed out some pictures beforehand um, you can see kind of the quality is uh, definitely good enough for what you would need on an SOP. And this is generally how I would do it before. So I would kind of figure out which, what, what the heading is on my paper. So I, would, I, I always come up with some kind of color code on the side because that usually ties with something else on the shop floor that it pertains to, whether it's in the area that it goes or the SOP that it's uh, on the process that it goes with. Um, but there's always a color on all of our SOPs because it always ties into something. Generally, it's the type of construction method that we're working on. You can also tell that the template has eight slots. Uh, the way we do it in our shop, if it has more than eight steps, we break it up into a smaller process. So uh, back on the sprocket, it comes with the um, cartridges basically that you load into the printer very simple, very quick, very easy and efficient. Um, you can print one photo at a time or you can queue up several photos, but you, your packet comes with 10. So I suggest buying these by the case, which is what I do on Amazon. And then you can get 50 photos at a time. They're probably about 50 cents a piece. So dirt cheap for what you're getting for them. The other great thing that I love about these is their sticky back. So just peel the back and put them on wherever you want and they work, I mean, just super easy. We actually use this printer for all of our standard products on our inventory rack and everything. So we take a picture of our screws, our drawer glides, um, hinges, plates, and then we put them in the inventory rack where they go. So there's a visual as well as the part number. So let's kind of jump in here real quick on how we build an SOP. So <clears throat> we find something on the shop floor that needs a standard process for it. In this case, it's uh, how to strap or how to load the, the strapping, banding strapping into your uh, strapping tool or your machine that you have. Um, this is uh, one that I've had laying around for a while that I haven't done, so we're just gonna do it right now. So basically, got all the uh, photos taken and I printed them out on my HP Sprocket. And with a little bit of movie magic here, we're gonna stick them to our paper where we want. And one tip is align all your pictures towards the, the top of your square on your template because the template is, is made for these picture sizes. So kind of align it on the top, it's gonna leave us some room on the bottom to put our writing about what we're doing. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, I've made my banding uh, SOP here. And as you can see, I've got all my picture stickers on here, uh, which is the greatest thing about the sprocket for this process. But you can see I just handwritten my uh, notes on there underneath about how to do it. And you could do this on the computer as well. Me, I generally do 90% of mine just, uh, just by hand because they may change over time. Um, it's quicker this way. I can do an SOP in under 10 minutes now from time I take pictures to the time I'm done. So to go through this particular one real quickly, first step is just load the loose end of the banding and the strap, squeezing the handle completely, roll the side of the, the roll side of the banding gets loaded into the slotted wheel, tighten the uh, strap using the handle, crimp strap fully, squeeze the handle to cut the banding, put a couple general notes about how tight it should be. And then on the end, I just kind of put a picture of what a well wrapped load is like since this is actually gonna be on my strapping cart um, on the side of the wheel. It's just gonna be stuck to it. The last thing I'll do to these, uh, to all my SOPs is I laminate them 
And then if there's multiple SOPs, like on my edge bender where I may have 10 SOPs about different banding changes and startups and whatever, I have a, I'll just punch a keyhole in all of them and put a key ring in the, in the center of them, hang them by the machine on a screw or something. And that way they're always there, they're always handy. The greatest thing about this type of SOP is it is easy to change. You can always print out new pictures, redo your words at the bottom, it takes five minutes to do it again. There's really, doing it this simple, there's no way that you shouldn't have SOPs for everything in your shop. Hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to call me or comment on anything. Uh, I'd like to know how you maybe do SOPs. I'm sure it's differently than how we do it. Um, but thanks to everybody that's downloaded the template and um, look forward to providing more of this kind of stuff in the future. Thanks.